Hello. In this session, we will look in configuration in ASP.NET Core. We will see how to read values from appsetting.json file using configuration provider. To do that, we will be moving our Cosmos connection string, database name, and container names to configuration file, and we will read it from there. Let us go to appsettings.json file and let us remove all these settings from here and let us insert cosmos settings this cosmos settings section contains various settings that we will need to connect to database like our endpoint key database name and story container name now let us go to repository project and add one setting class over there with same properties so in repository project we can add one folder settings inside that folder add one class cosmos settings make it public let us add those four properties here in addition to these properties i will be adding one constant string variable that is setting name this is optional it's not required but it will help us to remove some harsh coding from the client code that we will see soon when we will use this class now go to dependency injection file now we want to read values from our app settings.json file in the object of cosmos settings class and then we want to inject that object as a singleton so that it should be available throughout the application to do that we need to insert some code over here it will look something like this let us fix this you need to add this namespace now here we need object of i configuration to read the section from the config file if you remember we call this add cosmos repository method from startup.cs file configure service method here now in this class this configuration is available it is already injected by asp.net injector just for clarity i will move this line up so this is a property configuration and we are injecting that configuration provider through asp.net dependency injector and this configuration we need to pass to cosmos repository now pass this configuration to add cosmos repository Obviously, we need to make change in signature of add cosmos repository method. We need to accept that parameter, which is of i configuration type. But you will not able to see that in IntelliSense because we need to install one package for it. So go to package manager console. Make sure that Orion.cosmos repository project is selected and install package microsoft.extension.configuration.abstractions once that package is installed you will able to use i configuration interface now our bind method is complaining because it need other package microsoft.extensions.configuration.binder so let us install that Once configuration.binder package is installed, bind property will get resolved. Now let us try to understand what exactly we are doing here. We have this Cosmos settings class with these four properties, which exactly matches with our configuration, which we created in app settings.json file. Then here we are using configuration provider get section method reads particular section from that app setting file. We need to pass the name of that section instead of hard coding that name we already have that name inside cosmos settings class itself the name of section is cosmos settings and it will read that section from configuration file and that values we need to bind to the object that we created so we are passing cosmos settings object to the bind method here bind method will do magic and will map all that configuration file keys to the properties of cosmos settings object once we have values in our object we are injecting it in our dependency injection collection as a singleton 
so that same object will be served throughout the application lifecycle whenever we will request it. With all this in place, we should able to use this object. Let us go to Story Cosmos context class. Now we can remove all these hardcoded stuff from here. And we can inject Cosmos settings class in this constructor. And then we can use these object properties here. So let us replace this with Cosmos settings dot endpoint, Cosmos settings dot key, Cosmos settings dot database name, Cosmos settings dot story container. Now let us see if everything is working fine. Put breakpoint over here and run the application. You can launch the postman and send the request and it will hit this breakpoint check if all values are available in this object and you can see all the values from app settings.json file are available here continue and you will get list of stories so in this session we moved all that configuration to app setting.json file and read it from there let us stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive notification whenever a new episode is published, then do not forget to hit the bell icon and click on all in that pop-up. Thank you.